Welcome everyone to Inside Gyros. Um, today, before we start, I want to give a special thanks to the guys on the PRA, on all the forums, on Facebook. Uh, we appreciate that you let us share the videos, uh, you guys are sharing the videos also, and the comments, and the good, um, the likes, we really like that. Um, please share with all your family and your friends, so they can understand more about gyroplanes. I know it's difficult sometimes when everybody asks, what's a gyroplane? I have to explain, is it like, it looks like a helicopter, it's like, like an airplane, but it's neither, both. So, um, thank you guys for all the support. Uh, please keep coming, please keep sharing. Um, remember, subscribe on the bottom, so we will keep doing the videos. Your support will keep us doing these videos. Today, we, um, we're going to practice uh, two techniques for landing. Before, uh, before I explain the techniques, it's important to understand that the landing is really close to the power curve. The power curve in a gyroplane is when you reduce the speed and then the gyroplane start sinking. Remember, if you reduce total speed or you unload your rotor, you will go from a gyroplane to a piano in a matter of seconds. So you have to be, be very careful. It's not just loading the rotor, avoid totally the, um, the low Gs. You have to be very, very careful with the, um, with the speed. Do not stir the paint. Remember, small inputs all the time, small inputs. Um, one of the techniques for landing when you start doing the flare is by steps. Pull and wait, pull and wait, pull and wait, pull and wait. So you control your descent, you control your flare. When you reduce the speed, the gyroplane tends immediately to sink, so you countermeasure the sinking with the angle of attack of the rotor. So you go a little bit higher, so you are stopping the sink and you do a soft landing. Speed is really important. These two techniques are based on speed. The first technique we're gonna, we're gonna practice is the high above the glide slope. We power off and sink, keeping the speed. If we're losing the speed, we sink a little bit more, we reduce the angle of the nose a little bit higher. If we're getting too much speed, we just hold it a little bit. Very small inputs. Every single gyroplane is really sensitive. Do not over control your gyroplane. This is the first mistake. You see, you barely touch it. You're not even touching the gyroplane. All right? So that's the, that's the first thing you have to understand. Do not stir the pain. That also can induce to a pilot oscillation. Pilot induced oscillation, you don't want that. You don't want that, that bumping, all right? So join us again. Thank you everybody for watching. We, we're going to practice some landings and two techniques. So let's go to the runway and I will show you more. Reminders uh, before we start, um, always use your checklist. Sometimes in an open cockpit, when you fly the open cockpit, having pipers and things around is not really a good idea. So use your knee pad. The knee pad is really, is really useful. Additionally, remember, because the checklist on a gyroplane for before takeoff, takeoff, uh, before landing, landing, turn on the engine, uh, switch off the engine, there are really few procedures. You can call it memory items. So memorize your items, complete your checklist before getting in, and um, please do not attempt to do these maneuvers and to do this kind of, uh, um, all the operation on a gyroplane if you don't have enough practice. Always fly with a CFI, call your local fly school, read a lot of books, get a lot of information. Um, if you have the opportunity, it's better to start training in a side-by-side -side so you can see everything that I'm doing. You can talk like we are talking right now. It's like talking in a, in a, um, 
a living room so we have really nice weather even outside temperature is uh, 19 degrees Fahrenheit we have really nice weather inside here that's one of the reasons it's, it's more comfortable to start your training in a side by side so you are in a close you don't have the wind you don't have the the distractions around the the noise is really reduced you are seeing my 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 gestures my command so to start gyroplanes to start in the world gyroplanes if you want to make the transition for fixed wind from helicopter to a gyroplane we always recommend start in a side by side it doesn't mean again you cannot train in a tandem everybody trains in a tandem they're fantastic machines they're really fun for flight but to start to reduce the time in training the side by side clearly is the best option two miles inbound Spanish word all right so before we get to the first technique we're gonna do the high altitude above the glide slope all lights in green in, in, in correction all lights in um, in white don't want to cut that plane out behind us. Step three, A Julia Delta. All right, just always be careful with your radio and your communications. So, above glide slope, cut the engine, get the speed, maintain your speed, read your manuals, read your operation manuals. All manufacturers, they tell you what is the approach speed to be able to do the flare without ballooning up or without hitting the runway. All right. It's on. Trims are set. We maintain the speed. In this particular model, we're gonna keep between 65 and 70 knots. So, as you see in this camera, we are way highly, way high on the glide slope. All right. So, keeping the high, this altitude will ensure in case something happened with the engine we have enough space to sink, get the speed, and do the flare. Additionally, remember, the gyroplane glide is not the same as a fixed wing. So if we lost the engine and we are too low, we are not gonna make it to the runway. So it's my suggestion, my personal suggestion, under my experience, always keep a little bit above from the glide slope. All right, we have our, our approach lights, our VASI lights, all white. We're gonna call. Spanish for traffic. Gyroplane November 313 is final 304. for a touch and go. Spanish word. All right. So this is the moment. We're gonna keep flying. These models have windows in the nose, so you ha you you can see your target when you descend. So that's really really convenient. So we're gonna find the speed. We're gonna wait until the runway is in our in our windows and we're gonna find our touchdown zone. Alright? Just aim to the touchdown zone with the nose, alright? High above and we cut the engine. We compensate a little bit with the pedal, the torque. There we go. And we did a dive. So when we dive, what we're doing is getting as much speed we got. We need to get the approach speed that in this case is 75 to seven, uh, 65 to 70 all right as soon as we're getting close to the runway it's no big deal you just start making your flare very nice and easy you keep back 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 and open the rotor to stop and off we go the nose will come up again be careful with your rpms don't let it drop too much the rpms on the rotor you're in the air again Keep it down. This is the second part of the takeoff that is getting the speed going al going outside of the power corp. When you go outside of the power corp, now you're clear, and you go to the the, um, the speed for climb, the BY. So you get your BY and you can just climb. All right. The second technique will be the a little bit slightly higher slightly higher but with power all right this is a hard approach so we keep power almost before the, the touchdown all right 
Spanish short traffic, Jaroplane November 313 is turning uh, right, crosswind, uh, runway 30, Spanish short. A gyroplane, we don't need to make big traffics. If you're allowed, if you're if you're flying in a control tower, um, just ask if you can make a short um, traffics. Why? Safety. If you lost your engine, if you start getting something rough, you don't feel fine. Something start vibrating. Immediately, you can proceed to the runway. Spanish so for traffic. Gyroplane November three one three is uh, right downwind runway three zero for a uh, short traffic. Spanish for. All right. Because this this traffic will be slightly Which above. Uh, Four one four zero Bar Fox Five is six miles southwest of airfield and bound for Miami. Because this traffic will be slightly above, gonna be keep six hundred feet AGL. So we're gonna start our uh, our approach, our final, with a little bit of power and controlling the speed with the nose. All right. So the flare will be very gentle, very gentle flares. Remember, the speed is the key. The speed is your key. If it's too slow, as soon as you do the flare, in the gyroplanes you do the flare and boom, stop and fail. You know, remember the Coyote and the Roadrunner, when you stop and, and fail, it's exactly what happens. So avoid that with the right speed. If you're going too fast, as soon as you do the flare, boom, you balloon up. So the speed is the key, all right? Speed is, the speed is the key. All right, slightly above, we have 600 feet LGL. We're gonna turn to base, clear the area. Spanish for traffic, airplane November 313 is turning short right base for runway 30 for touch and go, Spanish work. All right, slightly above, we are way lo sl lower than the, than, than the first one. But enough altitude in case we lost the engine at this point, we have full, full distance from the ground to sink, get speed, level up, and do the flare. Spanish word traffic, airplane November 313, turning final 30 for touch and go, Spanish word. All right, we go our final, slightly above. We start cutting our engine. We have plenty of runway. All right. Spanish for traffic here, five five six. Make your attack. Continue to three zero and we'll wait. We leave a little bit of power in this one. All right. A little bit of power. We have the speed. We have seventy five. If it's getting too too fast, you just call it a little bit. Call it a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny input. A tiny tiny input. All right. If you see right now, we lost a lot of. We just put a little bit of power. A tiny bit of power with the engine to recover. We have our landing zone, our aiming points, and we start doing the flare in in sectors. One sector and wait. Start going, and we touch down. And we open our rotor. Open, 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 open. And off we go. We go again. Remember. Be careful with your RPMs. If you lose RPMs, just don't push too too hard. Left Are in the air again. 45 for left downward. Alright, we have traffic coming to the 45. Alright, so summary. If you're going higher, you cut your engine. This is a good technique for a little bit advanced um, students. Yes, too much power. It, that's a very good technique to learn the emergency. Because if you train several times, going down, Tango going Tango down. Tango five, Tango Victor, departing three zero. Going down with speed, controlling Tango your Tango speed. Tango controlling your speed with the nose, with the dive, they will give you a lot of advancing, advancing case of an emergency. Spanish for traffic, airplane November 313 is uh, right downwind, uh, turning right downwind runway 30, Spanish for. Oh, is um.
these two techniques, there's many other techniques. I'm pretty sure your, your CFIs, they will take you many techniques, but in general, fixed wind, helicopters, gyroplanes, name it, Iron Man suit. The speed is the clue. The speed is the key. Right, we're coming to a 5 to 5 Tango Victor, turning left, crossing on 3-0.